like to try to make sure it's from books. <laughs> Here we are. Sonnets. First, I'm gonna I'm gonna read three of these. Yep, three sonnets. Sonnet fourteen. Not from the stars do I my judgment pluck, and yet methinks I have astronomy, but not to tell of good or evil luck. Of plagues or of dearth, of seasons, quality. Nor can I fortune to brief minutes tell, point into each his thunder, rain, and wind. Or say with princes if it shall go well, by oft predict that I in heaven find. But from thine eyes my knowledge I des derive, and constant stars in them I read such art, as truth and beauty shall together thrive. It from thyself to store thou wouldst convert. Or else, of thee, this I prognosticate. Thy end is truths and beauties, doom and date. End. Yeah. Next is Sonnet 27. Weary with toll, I haste me to my bed. The deer repose for limbs with travel tired, but then begins a journey in my head to work my mind when my body's work's expired. For then my thoughts from far where I abide intend a zealous pilgrimage to thee and keep my drooping eyelids open wide, looking on darkness which the blind do see. Save that my soul's imaginary sight presents thy shadow to my sightless view, which, like a jewel hung in ghastly night, makes black night beauteous and her old face new. Lo, thus by day my limbs, by night my mind, for thee and for myself, no quiet find. And Lastly is Sonnet 44. 44. Let's go. If the dull substance of my flesh were thought, injurious distance should not stop my way. For then, despite of space, I would be brought from limits far remote where thou dost stay. No matter then, although my foot did stand, upon furthest earth removed from thee, for nimble thought can jump both sea and land, as soon as think the place where he would be. But ah! Thought kills me that I am not thought, to leap large lengths of miles when thou art gone. But that, so much earth and water wrought, I must attend time's leisure with my moan. Receiving not by elements so slow, but heavy tears, badges of either's woe. End. 